welcome back to the Missouri-tastic YouTube channel where we like to unleash our creativity. And I'm going to be drawing something and making it up right in front of you. It's the the funnest, it's the reason why you come here, right? It's you subscribe to this channel uh, because you want to see me just make up something right in front of you. I am going to do it! All right, so we are going to take two words as our prompt words. Okay, first we're going to start off with the letter. And our today's letter is T. T. And then we're going to take that letter and turn it into two words. So one adjective and one noun. Adjective is tree-like. Noun is television, a tree like television. Here we go, tree like television. So grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's draw a tree like television using our creative thinking skills and our favorite art mediums. Let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at artastickids.com. All right, we are doing a tree-like television. We are taking an adjective and an object and smushing them together to make a very different creative exploration, right? It's all about creative thinking on this channel. So if you want to be different, if you want to do things that are strange and unusual and unlike anything else you see on YouTube or anywhere else, make sure you subscribe to this channel. This is the best place to get the most intense, most detailed, most, uh, again, creative inducing uh, videos out there to help you become a better artist overall and be and, and also adding your own artist flavor. So today's adjective is tree-like and the, the word is television. So two T words, tree-like television. And again, I make it up on the spot right in front of you as we do it. So that's the magic of here. You're seeing me take two words and then turn it into something visual and communicate that visually through my own uh, artist interpretation. But you can make that your own version too. Tree-like television, what is it? Let's go. All right, we're gonna begin with the television part and I'm going old school with this because I want those bunny ears. So we're gonna draw a bendy rectangle because trees are bendy. Boom. All right. Now we're gonna have some branches coming up. So instead of an antennae, I'm gonna branch it off the top. And I just like to start off with one curving line when I do a tree branch. Bring it back down, go up a different spot, bring it back down. Now parts of my tree branches are going to go off the page, but that's okay, right? I don't care about the rest of the tree. My focus is primarily the television and the, the tree is the second part that I'm focusing on. Now it is a tree, so maybe I'm gonna, in this weird awkward space, I'm going to add a bird's nest. I'm just gonna start adding some parallel lines and interconnect them just randomly until I can create that kind of bird nest texture and of course bird nests are not like perfect circles or they're made out of random sh random like objects and found shapes in nature organic shapes and maybe there's like a little baby bird mm. baby bird sticking out all you see is this little face like that calling for a parent to come feed it okay tree like tree like television Okay, I'm gonna bring the sides down and out because the roots are actually very similar to the branches in my imagination anyways. I'm gonna bring them out and branch them out the same way I do with the upper branches, but now they're underground branches. But in this case, I can see them. But it's a tree like television, it's not real anyway. Well, what I know of. Okay, I'm also going to use some hatching lines today to do some shading. So I'm just going to take my mark maker and create some shadows using hatching lines. So we are using some lines to create shadows. Television. Okay, so we got tree-like television. So I'm gonna add a frame on the inside. Boop, 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 boop. And we need a face. Wait, before I do a face, I'm gonna add some uh, some uh, 
rectangles on a diagonal to indicate that it is a shiny flat surface. And now I'm ready to add a face because otherwise it's boring if it doesn't have a face. Okay, two circles. I know mine are completely I'm gonna have to draw mine slanted because I put those light blobs there. So now I have to, I have a predicament that I need to solve, a problem to solve. And so now I'm gonna solve it by making the face a little bit off-centered and like it's looking over towards that way by placing the pupils facing that way. And to make it extra cute, I'm gonna add some finer details, right? We do big to small details, right? Big areas, small to areas after. In between, I'm gonna draw a straight line and then connect it with a big U shape. And then I like to take a nice line and curve it down from one corner down to the bottom. And then I'm gonna color in the dark of the mouth, leaving the tongue nice and white. And then I can add some details around that. So once you're done, you are ready to add. Oh, maybe you'll have to get fit something like some grass. And yeah, I don't wanna do leaves. But you can do leaves on yours if you want. That's up to you, it's your artwork, you do you. All right, once you're done, you are ready to give it some color. So go ahead and color it in whatever way makes you happy. I'm also going to go like, I don't know. I'm gonna give it a green screen to be honest. I just feel like it. But you could do gray, that'd be a much more normal color for the screen on your television. Again, do yours the way that makes you happy. And once you're done, coloring in your tree-like television, your lovely artwork is done.